Hello, this is Adam Stanislav reporting on a test of connecting my laptop, which is a Sony VAIO laptop, to the NanoFlash, which is a video recorder, through the HDMI output port of the, of the laptop into the NanoFlash. The people from the maker of the NanoFlash weren't sure whether my particular audio card would work with it. I'm sorry, video card would work with it. So I tested it. The laptop uses an ATI Radeon 4650 HD card. The laptop that I ordered from Newegg was supposed to be 1080p, but even though I paid for that, they sent me a less good model, which has a smaller resolution. So even though, as you can see on, on the output of the video, the <coughs> NanoFlash reported that it could accept 1080 P or 1080i, the computer only sent 720p to it, but other than that, it worked, which is the point of this test. Now, several people have asked why I would need a nano flash when there are good software solutions to grab the screen of a computer instead of just uh, sending it out through a video port. Well, the thing is that uh, when you work with the screen grabbers, they only work within Windows. And whenever you're showing some kind of video <coughs> on your computer, that video doesn't go through Windows. It goes directly to the hardware, the video hardware, and therefore screen grabbers can't get it. Therefore, I did two tests. The first one is the first four minutes of this video. And if you're getting bored by it, because all it shows is me playing a card game, then you can forward to about where it is four minutes within the video where you will see the second test, which is only about a minute and a half long, where I actually played one of my YouTube videos. And as you can see, it works. It grabs it, it grabs the video. Now, this is the second part of the test that I mentioned. I'm going to YouTube, and unfortunately, my internet connection seems rather slow. So it's playing and stopping and playing and stopping. But I'll let it play for a while, then I'll move it back to the start of the video, and you will see that it plays very nicely and that it records it very nicely. And this concludes today's test. Tomorrow I shall obtain more adapters, more cables, and I will perform additional tests both with this computer, this laptop, and with my desktop computer. 
And in this particular test, I noticed that the video I'm playing from YouTube has no sound. That means that either my laptop doesn't send audio through HDMI port, even though it says it does, or I had misconfigured it someone, somehow. So I'll test that tomorrow. It is getting too late tonight. It's almost 10 o'clock here. So I'll see you with more tests tomorrow.